we've now left the Kootenays. We started in Alberta, then we were in the East Kootenays, Cranbrook, Radium, Windermere, Invermere, Bui, Yak, and now we're in the Boundary Country. So we're officially done with the Kootenays. Uh, Cascade City was known in about 12 minutes. The Cascade Gorge. So Nikola Tesla was in Colorado. He was doing research about AC power generation and how to make AC power generation effective for long range transmission because DC power was not effective. DC power was used for transmitting initially, but you need inverters and rectifiers positioned every so often to like keep the current moving properly. So Tesla decided to go with AC current instead, 60 cycles. And he basically said that he had done calculations in his head because he could do like intense heavy calculus in his head without a calculator. 60 cycles was per second was the best method for AC power generation. So that's where the 60 cycle comes from. And we actually saw like they had 25 cycles before. There was no like standard. And so Tesla was kind of, he was kind of the guy that like figured it out. He didn't invent the induction motor. That was, you know, Mike's other guys were, did that way before he did. But what Tesla did with the AC induction motor was he figured out polyphase. Uh, but he was working up in Colorado. And then, you know, he, like everybody else, heard of the mining boom in the Kootenays. So he came up here, he came to Cascade City, and the Cascade Gorge, which the Kettle River flows through, he kind of was looking at it, and he was like, you know what, this is a good place to get power generation, hydroelectric, because he was, he was thinking about, like, where's the best power source I can get? Out in Ontario and out east, it's flatter, so you don't have such an abundance of hydroelectric, right? Niagara Falls is kind of their, their big token. So he saw the Cascade Gorge and was like, oh, this looks like a great place to produce power. Cascade City, Cascade Power, Cascade Power and Water Company, gateway to the boundary country. It was a train town, rail town, Columbia and Western Railway, Fritz Augustus Mines, CPR, Great Northern. Cascade City was a hub for that. It had, you know, tons of hotels, tons of bordello, many, many, many different stores. Uh, they actually set the town on fire for insurance money, but uh, that didn't work. So. Most of the town is completely destroyed. It was burned out of fire uh, around 1900 because uh, it was an insurance fraud thing. They wanted to uh, they, they wanted to rebuild the town, so they started the fire. And, uh, it didn't work out the way they planned. So that was kind of the end of Cascade City. Uh, once that uh, and the powerhouse is still there, but it's just in ruin now. But the AC generators that were at Cascade City were some of the first generators in the entire world that ran. AC 60 cycle current. Wannington Falls transported the electricity to Rossland. There was a smelter in Grand Forks. There was a smelter in Greenwood. And there was a copper mine in Phoenix. So this Cascade Power and Water Company, the Cascade Powerhouse, they were supplying power to Greenwood, Grand Forks, and Phoenix, which is pretty crazy because that's a fair distance away. So you would, DC would be ineffective, right? That's why AC power became important. And what we're about to see here is this was the place that Nikola Tesla picked to do his research, right? So the, the, the stuff you, we saw in Rossland, the stuff we saw at Sandin, that is the byproduct of this. But Cascade City, this is where he figured it out. This is where he, he came, he built, he installed some of his generators on the Kettle River Gorge, the Cascade Gorge, Cascade Falls proceeded to basically refine his AC induction motor with the 60 cycles to what we know now. This is the actual site where it all began, guys. Like AC, AC electric power transmission began at Cascade City. We're at the Cascade Gorge, the Nikola Tesla research place, the research center, right? We're just gonna walk over here and see if I can find the remains of the powerhouse here. But this is the Cascade Gorge, the Kettle River. Everything, it's as usual, right? Everything's kind of gone. So that's the gorge, right? We're gonna go over to the Columbian Western Kettle Valley Railway parking lot, but 
It's sad, man. It's really sad. I wish there was more here to show, but what I will show you, and I got the BC government backing me up here. This would have been Cascade City back in the day, guys. This is it's a t true ghost town. Everything burnt down. The powerhouse since been destroyed. But here we go. BC government, British Columbia, Cascade, gateway to the boundary country. Cascade came into being during the late 1890s as a bustling railway construction town claiming 17 hotels at its height. Its location along the US-Canada border proved strategic for mining, freighting, and hydroelectricity. The early development of Cascade is credited to the Columbia and Western Railway, Fritz Augustus Hein, but it became round for its hydroelectricity, which powered the boundary district. The Cascade Water, Power, and Light Company powerhouse and dam was built between 1899 and 1902. That was the proving ground for Nikola Tesla's three-phase 60-cycle power. Though the town is gone and the powerhouse abandoned, the Cascade Gorge remains as impressive today as it was over a century ago. That's the powerhouse, it's faded from the sun. And then the, the bridge, right? So the, the old bridge over the gorge and the powerhouse. We can't, it's, there's nothing left. I, history is, it's over a hundred years old. History's taken it away from us. But this was the site guys. This was where it happened. This was where 60 cycle AC power was honed and proved. This was the proving ground for it. He demonstrated over Edison's DC current that 60 cycle AC power was possible. And the Kettle River Gorge, the Kettle River Gorge was, was the power supply, the hydroelectric power, right? Sandon, they were using the vertical drop from the mountain to get the head pressure. And here they were just using the gorge, right? The bridge, the powerhouse would have been about here. A couple stories high. AC generators, it's all gone now. Uh, the fire at Cascade really destroyed it. But you can see here, they are acknowledging it, the official sign. Tesla, three phase, 60 cycle power, proving ground. I'm dead serious, this was where it happened, guys. There's a, there's a plaque from the government to even prove it. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had more. Like a building. Or, or something with the foundations but you can't see anything over there and it's yeah it is what it is it's been lost to history right like many things on my channel i do my best to show you guys what i can but there's only so much to see right so